and you'll you'll sit out in your journey and, and especially in the Middle East this was true they wore sandals the dust the dirt and everything else that we will mention will get on their feet and they would stop along the way and just wash their feet for hygienic reasons just cleanse their feet and we're on a journey aren't we, we and that journey began with regeneration that journey began when when Christ and the, and the Spirit of God made us children of God by causing us to live by faith in the Son of God who loved us and gave himself for us the Lord Jesus says we don't need that to be repeated that's once for all in, in 1 Corinthians 12 by one spirit we are baptized into one body it's a once for all act we don't need multiple baptisms that's where Martin Lloyd-Jones though he was a great servant of God was wrong we don't need mul multiple baptisms of the Holy Spirit there's one baptism of the Holy Spirit when we first believe by sovereign grace in Christ but every day since then we need the daily washing of our feet the daily washing of our feet so it says in in 1 John chapter 1 verse 8 if we say that we have no sin we deceive ourselves the truth is not in us if we confess listen to verse 9 if we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness doubt will make you stop confessing the devil will make you stop confessing God tells you to confess. And God promises if we confess our sins, He is faithful. But it, it doesn't just say that. Look what it says. And He's just. You know, what, what doubt says and what the devil says in our mind sometimes is, no, no, you've gone too far. God can't and, and God won't forgive you this time. But, but the scripture actually says two things about God. That he's faithful and he's just. It's a righteous thing. God is not bending his righteousness or he's not subverting his righteousness in order to forgive us. Why? Because Christ died for us. Christ died in our place. He bore our sin in his body on the tree. And therefore God is faithful and just and righteous to forgive us our sins and that's every false religion whether it be islam whether it be um uh, judaism now whether it be buddhism hinduism all those religions don't have this teaching they don't have the idea of the justice of god in regards to our forgiveness they have a god and they present to god that god just ignores our sin no no God never ignores your sin. God never ignores my sin. But God has, if I can say it this way, I'm trying to think of the right way to say this. God has, and this is, this is not a very good way of saying it, but God has tied himself into the covenant of grace, which is grounded on the death of Christ and therefore as Romans says he remains just and the justifier <coughs> of the one who has faith in Jesus as someone I don't know who ever said this at the beginning but it's a, it's a, it's a common phrase now among believers we need to keep short accounts with God. That's just another way of saying we need the constant foot washing. We need the constant foot washing. Never stop confessing your sins. 
It is the very life of your relationship with God. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. May God bless his word to our souls. Well, let us...